Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to just show you how you can write MATLAB code to implement linear regression with leave one out cross validation in MATLAB. Okay, one of the question asked by my subscriber. So now the point is that you should able to write the code for this particular cross validation technique if you have seen my this particular video okay validation by leave one out in matlab here what i have done here i have taken one data set and i have applied polynomial regression method okay and shown you the cross validation one right now this time we have to just replace this machine learning regression model to linear regression model and that's all just this little bit change so you should understand the, that how to change the code okay so i will request you to pause my video and have a try with any random data set or the data set which i am going to use in this particular video that also i'll be posting in the description box of this this video you can take that and uh, just try once okay how to implement linear regression with cross validation where the cross validation technique is leave one out okay so now i am discussing the code so before going to that just have a quick recap what i have discussed what is the fundamental idea of leave one out see clearly written in the description as the name suggests leave one out so each time we will be leaving one of my training data and using rest of the data we will train our model and then we will take or we will validate our model based on that particular training data whatever we have left left that is whatever we have not considered okay for training and that in same process we will do for all the training data point so suppose i have 10 training data points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then first we will ignore one and from 2 to 10 we will create one model and we will validate that model based on the one number one uh, training data. Then in the next iteration, we will exclude two, that is second training data and one and from three to ten. Using this data, we will train our model and based on the two, whatever training data, second training data we have ignored, okay, while training the model based on that, we will validate, okay clearly written as the name suggests the validation is performed by leaving only one sample out of the training set all the samples except the one left out are used as training set and the classification method or you can say regression method also that is machine learning classification or regression method is validated on the sample left out okay if this procedure is performed only once then obviously that is not significant right statistically irrelevant so we will perform this again and again for as many times see clearly written as many times as the number of samples in the training set okay that is each time one uh, training set training data we will ignore and that we are going to use for validation okay that's what is short form is l o o c v which is leave one out cross validation right so now coming to our actual code so what i have done here here we need to do linear regression using this particular cross validation okay so clc clear and close all as you generally write then i am reading the data which i have created for leave one out uh, cross validation okay i will just run this particular part and show you the data once okay so i will write here data See here for linear regression, I have taken simple linear regression, not multiple linear regression. Okay, so A A B B. Suppose A A is my input features, B B is my output feature. Okay, we need to predict B B based on A A. That's all, right? So I will clear this comment window and see this one. What I have done first, I have taken first column data of colon comma one that is all row first column from table to array we are converting okay and then taking transpose same we are doing for second column now you may think why i am doing this you can follow multiple algorithm multiple approach for writing one program i am using this particular way because while discussing the linear regression i have used row 
low vector okay if you just check linear regression in matlab whatever i have discussed here all the links will be provided in the description box or in the comment section you can go and check there okay so see in linear regression in matlab whatever code i have given here i have considered row so that i am taking transpose here okay so that the columns will be converted to row after converting from table to array right then i am calculating the length of my data set and this predictions on empty array we are to Creating this is used to store the uh, predicted output. Whatever our model will predict for each uh, training data, whatever we are living in each stage. Okay. Now what I have told you in leave one or cross validation, we have to uh, just uh, cross validate how many times that should be equal to total number of uh, training data present in our data set, right? So that is nothing but length of my data. So I am using this particular for loop for p equal to one colon n. right so here i am showing another approach whatever i have shown you for this particular leave one out discussion this one validated validated by leave one out here i have shown you one approach in this particular video i am showing another approach how to uh, ignore one particular training data okay and that is using set diff what set diff will do it will basically ignore uh, one value from an array in simple words you can just like check like this set diff suppose i am having 1 2 3 4 okay this is my data and i am writing 1 so what it will do this is one array from this it will ignore 1 and it will return this rest so 2 3 4 it will return see 2 3 4 right then suppose i am giving a 2 so what it will return 1 3 4 that is ignoring the second element whatever is there it will give output see 1 3 4 then suppose i am giving 3 what should be the output correct 1 2 4 suppose i am giving 4 what should be the output 1 2 3 so see this particular technique we can use for leave one out right each time we will change this second parameter first parameter will be basically my training index that is all the uh, training data index that is one to length of my training data and each time we will ignore one particular index and we will keep on incrementing this and whatever answer will be getting based on that based on this particular answer we will uh, train our model okay so each time leaving one particular element one by one that's all so here see training index Equal to set diff one colon n comma p. See, try to understand one colon n. All possible training index. Okay, because n is total number of training data. So all possible data index I am taking, and each time I am ignoring p. Okay, so basically what will happen? First time p will take one value. So in the initial time in training index, we will ignore the first training data. Then it will take p equal to two. So that time we will ignore the second training data, which we are going to use for validation after creating the model. Like that we will go. And testing index is obviously one index, which is p. Right? Each time we will use this for validation. Then x train and y train I am taking because this is my actual data. But each time we need to ignore once, and that is what we need to take. That is total training training index for training purpose and for testing here. The, that index is present in test index, right? So we are extracting that x training equal to x of training index, y training equal to y of training index, x test equal to x of training index, right? Then this particular part of the code, see this particular one, I will not explain because this one I have just simply copied and pasted from linear regression in MATLAB, whatever I have discussed. See this particular one, I have just copied and pasted this one. Same thing, okay? See. This one I have just taken. Just here we need to predict the y value corresponding to this test data for validation. So I am writing here x test. That's all. And this is our predicted value that we are going to store in the prediction array. Okay, so that we can later check the accuracy of our model and all those. So predictions equal to predictions of y test. Okay, prediction y test. So concatenating each time, right? So this is done. Then this is what about our leave one out cross validation. Now what we have to do? For in the cross validation method, what what we uh, basically do in cross validation, we check our how much our model is accurate. Okay, how much our model performs well because we don't know in future what test data comes. So basically, we separate some of the training, uh, some part of the training data, and we use that for testing only, right? Because uh, all the training data outcome is known to us. So similarly here, 
only predictions is not sufficient we need to now check the model accuracy and for simple linear regression obviously the best possible way to check model accuracy, model accuracy is what simple r square okay see r square code here if you go to this video example problem on, on residual plot and calculation of coefficient of determination i have already discussed in many examples i have shown you so here i have written this particular code first we are subtracting the predicted value from the original then taking square of that then using this particular formula right same this particular code i have just taken and pasted here that's all and if you want to get in percentage i have multiplied by 100 and display rsq right simple so i can just run this whole code okay and here it goes so this is our model accuracy 87.7981 which is pretty good accuracy right so this is how you can use leave one out cross validation l o O C V in MATLAB in linear regression machine learning model. Okay, so I have shown you two different techniques. Okay, see in first video I have shown you one way where I have used basically for loops to ignore each time one particular element. Now in this video I have shown you set diff approach. Okay, what you can do you can simply write here help set diff. Okay, that's all, and you will be getting the complete help. Okay, where you can understand more syntax, more uh, uh, methods which our MATLAB is providing for this particular function, and explore more. Right? Again, I'll be posting the code in the description box or in the comment section, including the data set. You can play with this. Right? Thank you for watching.